excuse you. I was about to do an intro here. Uh, hello. Hi, Bart. Uh, <laughs> just gonna be interrupted on everything. God. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. Where, first of all, um, I got sick and tired of playing with the controller, so I actually remember for playing this time to switch to the keyboard and, like, unplug my controller. I also essentially replayed up until this point of the game uh, on keyboard, so I would figure out the new controls instead of just hopping in blind, so everything is so much nicer and smoother. It's I'm, I'm actually, you know, killing people. It's great. That's a weird thing to say, but I am so much happier with the keyboard. Oh my gosh. Oh, so I'm a little worried now, because when I, uh... I had... When I was playing it initially, it crashed. Or, no, it didn't crash. I switched to a different window, and I started doing things on somewhere else, and this was open in the background, and it crashed. Which, okay, whatever. Brotherhood and Revelations did that too. When I tried op reopening this and going into this save file, it just like crashed everything on my computer. Like one monitor just de disconnected and like the other one just went black. Like I had to like force shut down my computer. It's a little bit nervous to play this, but I think I think it's working fine now. I don't think it will be the bane of my existence. So where are we now in the map? Oh, also the map so much nicer. Um. We got a main mission. And that oh, what's that? Interactive conversation. I mean, like with who? I think that oh, that's at the hotel, and that's with uh Benjamin and his slow talking. It's a lot of. I hope we come back to this city at some point. Um, after this prologue. But for now, let's uh, let's go do some stuff. Um, oh, uh, do, do, do. cops hill ba battery. Okay, I read that as bakery <laughs> initially. <laughs> um, OBS, what are you doing? I, you better be recording over there. Uh, Cobb's Hill is one of the tallest hills in Boston and the highest point in Boston's north end. The hill was fortified during the siege of Boston, partially to discourage rebels from building their own fortifications across the river on Charlestown Peninsula. The artillery on Cobb's Hill fired on the Continental Army during the Battle of Bunker Hill. Well, sort of. It was actually a bit more distraction than destruction, at least at the Bread's Hill fortifications. The artillery fire on the town of Charlestown was more effective. The resulting fires forced out Continental Army snipers and leveled the town. Ooh. And oh right. We're here. Doing something. I don't know what, but we're doing something. Sequence two apparently. State Ooh. your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How did you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. John Petcarn? Carn? Born 1722. In 1754, John Petcarn was a young captain in the British Marine Corps. He fought in the French and Indian War, but I can't find much about his postings. He's listed as being one, being on the HMS Lancaster during the capture of Louisburg. That's in Canada. Thank you, Sean. No. <laughs> Do I even know that? I don't even know if I know that. I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a West Coaster. <laughs> uh, no record of him being held, being on the American side of the colonies, but it seems he did some comfort work as well. That would explain the lack of details. McCarn was promoted to major in 1771, and he gained a reputation for being well liked by his subordinates embraced by his enemies. That's a difficult trick to pull off. Maybe he had a lovely smile. Which, going off of this, no. I need to shift how I'm sitting. I also need to get a comfier office chair. Okay. Okay, Charles. Charles? Your name's Charles, right? Was that the other dude? I think it was you. There is so many red dots. Oh boy. Pitcan, you fool! Your axe, the treasure. Pitcan. 
Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Haytham. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. Yeah, it's probably. bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they've said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Hmm. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. And as luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now. When I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Uh, Edward... Actually, I'll read these later. I'll read this one later, because we're in the middle of a quest. I'll just get out of here. Okay, I guess we're running. Cool. Oh, nope. Okay. Wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Exactly. Um, oh, this is horrible and not telling me. Has your neighbor damaged your carriage? Optional. Oh, oh, just tailing. Perhaps Don Marlborough. Oh, no. Its residents are too content. They yep, nope. Nice I'm like, <laughs> <days> <laughs> I got caught. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's good to know we are, you know, tailing. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Okay. I accidentally cut that off. And then they're gonna stop there, so... Oh, maybe not, because I didn't get detected that time. There we go. Where shall we head next? Perhaps Don Marlborough. No. Its residents are too content. Their homes are nice. Their days untroubled. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those who fresh arrive are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. Get off. Okay. Ah uh, yes, nice food there. Um, Charles keeps taking all the good spots. But hmm, Blendon, hello. Ooh, okay, you guys are getting too far away. I'm guessing is why it's giving me that symbol. Um... Now! Really a half-turned Here we go. Oh, okay. Good job, Charles. Oi! You thieves and scoundrels, one and all! Boy on you and your false war! <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
follow the lead. It's the ambush. Good. Hi, kitty! Oh, there was one point when I was replaying where, uh... I, was try I tried to pet a cat and I got attacked by guards instead. <laughs> Unhand him, Edward. Ah, uh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitcairn with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. We're gonna have to kill, or yep. Oh hell! Oh, God, help. Ah, uh, fence. Ah! Okay, I need to switch to sword. Go. Oh. oh, oh, okay, whatever. Didn't realize what I meant by snitches. Where am I, Theron? Oh well. Never playing. Can you actually attack someone? That'd be great. Thanks. Well. Oh, are we still fighting? Okay, let me heal. Or, not heal. I should I don't really need to worry about healing. Which is nice, but. Look at all these loots. Oh, at least you're still alive. You! Okay, look at this guy on my feet. <laughs> oh, I'm standing on. His face. Oh no. There you go. Oh sweet. Is that gonna work continue on? Oh, someone here. I can loot. Okay, I am already so much happier. Doing this. Uh the Oh. Okay, fine. I stayed my hand today because you were once my brother. And a better man than this. When did this happen? Or should our paths ever cross again? All debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying, I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. Some what is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. I just like we're just loading all the time. We just have a blade to his knife, or a blade to his knife, a blade to his throat. Um, which one's codex again? No, what? Where are you going? Okay, sure, this works. Um, oh, grenadiers. I was reading that as a. Uh... Oh, apparently I passed some places. So, Fort Hills and South Battery. Fort Hill is the second highest hill in Boston. If only it had tried harder when it was a little hillock. And overlooks Boston Harbor. Defenses were built here in mid 17th century, along with smaller one gun fortifications near the harbor, named the South Battery. The uh, South Battery was expanded in the 1740s, but had fallen out of use by the 1760s. But both it and Fort Hill were rebuilt by patriots during the Revolutionary War, but both were dismantled before the turn of the century. Fort Hill, the hill itself, not the fortification, was leveled in the late 1860s to make room for more land. So it never realized its dream of becoming the highest hill in town. If that sounds familiar, it's because it happened to every hill in Boston. Hills are the natural enemies of Bostonians, and always will be. <laughs> Good to note. Um, if only that was the case here, but no. Christchurch. It is known today as the Old North Church, but it's the oldest church in the north end of Boston. Built up to 1776, it would have been known... Or, but up to 1776, it would have been known by its official name, Christchurch, and named after Jesus Christ, a former celebrity carpenter. <laughs> this is where... Is it Carpenter Gothic? This is where, on the night of Paul Revere's ride, two signal lanterns appeared to warn rebels on the opposite shore that the British regulars were on the way to seize weapons. The signal was Paul Revere's idea, but contrary to popular belief, the lamps weren't a signal sent to, sent to Revere. This was meant to warn lookouts on the opposite shore in case Revere was captured. The church was a natural choice for a signal fire, or signal flame. It was the highest steeple in Boston and easily seen from the other side of the river. Even better, the church was Anglican. The congregation was full of wealthy loyalists. Who would have suspected the church sexton, Robert Newman, a friend of Revia's, of sneaking into the church at night to send secret messages? Well, the British would, actually. They captured Newman a few days later and questioned him. He put on a traffic show, or a terrific show, and managed to convince them he was innocent. And then fled town, which didn't really back up the whole innocent thing while we're at it. Very well. <laughs> wow, I am just going to change every line, apparently. Um, John Bidcan. 
How far did we get before I decided to stop reading? Wait, no. It wasn't his. It was someone else's I didn't read. That is not coming up on here. How about looking in individuals? Grandias were originally the soldiers in charge of throwing grenades, hence the name. They were chosen for being tall, muscular, and fearless. Not only did they need the strength to throw grenades far enough to actually injure the enemy, they had to be brave or stupid enough to stay in the front lines of battle to do it. Grenadiers were also called upon to, f to be fast, effective assault troops, helping with things like storming breaches during sieges. You know, all the standard easy jobs are likely to get you killed. By the mid-18th century, grenades had fallen out of favor, but grenadiers were still regarded as elite regiments, called on to guard er the right flank of their battalions, and still do to all, and still to do all the other dangerous works they got in their rep reputation for. Interesting note on the hats: they were made high and narrow so that so as not to get in the way while you were throwing grenades, which is a good feature to have. Eventually, the Mitter hat became part of the standard dress uniform in num numerous armies. It's also possible grenadiers just really dig the idea of looking like the Pope. History is mute on that point. <laughs> Damn historians. Just ruining all the fun, giving actual reasons to things. Um, this one guy just vanished. Okay, sure. Why not? Yeah, okay. Guess we're not gonna read about that one person I decided not to do in the last minute. Sure, why not? Um, new email received. What? What is this email you speak of? Um, how do I check said emails? Or are you telling me that I got an email? Yes, I would like the fact to, to know that. Hmm. Okay, sure. Guard dogs. Yeah, no, that one guy's thing just vanished. Okay, sure. I don't know where to go to check that, but I'm sure we may clear at some point. Right? Right? Um, okay, where are we in the map? That is the button for Dragon Age map. We're back down here. Um. I'm really tempted to just explore for a bit. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's actually see where what happens if we do fast travel, because there's no other fast travel options. Alright. That's a really cool way of doing a tunnel. Yes. I'm just curious to see where else it will take us. Um, ooh. What? <gasps> what is this? Um. Okay. That was a dead body. What, can I not go down there? Okay, what if I drop the ladder, can I go up there? Where? This is gonna be confusing, ain't it? Okay. Oh. So just you don't want to go through doors sometimes? This is cool. This is a yeah, this is a interesting way to do fast travel. So I don't know where I am. I'm trying to Oh, I'm on the wrong side to unlock that door. Or open it, I guess. Which is probably why there's like stuff like uh these. So if I go down this one. Um There we go. Nothing in particular. Yeah, I'm just running into walls. Wait. Okay, I can only climb. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's just between those two, I guess. 
Huh. I'm guessing there's not going to be really much. Many other places I can go at this point. Since there's no other fast travel entrances unlocked. Exit through that kind of door. It's down this way. Um, how's this look on the maps? Ooh! Okay. Sure. Why not? 